thinking, all right, well, you, you a monkey to me right now. And and <laughs> it is what it is. It's a fight game. And and I don't mean that to, but like, that's when we're going to go thro- throw down. Like, there's there's no only one it. way to settle it. You guys need Same. to get in the ring. Exactly. And what did he say? He said, uh, outside the ring. And And I don't play by those rules. Me, I don't. I'm just someone that everything I do, my business is in the ring. It's not outside the ring. Because um, truth be told, a lot of things can happen south, you know, and we don't need to bury people right now. Yeah. We need to uh, inspire people right now. So Shakur Stevenson gave his reaction to Tia from Lopez telling Terrence Bud Crawford, you are a monkey to me. Let's fight. Shakur said, quote, Nah, nah, a ninja run into you and punch your head off. Cause you keep crossing a line you're not supposed to cross. Sick little dude. And then beg him for an opportunity in the process. Shake my head. End of the quote. I'm telling you guys, Tia from Lopez, he better be careful begging for trouble. At this point, he's not even asking for trouble. He's begging for it. And a person that already knocked out his father in front of him. Keyshawn Davis also gave his reaction to Tia from Lopez calling Bud a monkey. Check it out. So, you know, I know that um, your, your name's tied to a lot of fights, right? And, you know, mentioning right. of how um, Tio might not be with top rank, you know, it seems like with the noise and stuff like that. Um, right. Do you feel like that fight will ever get materialized? Or was that just kind of a moment in time that you were just... Man, I'm not worried about Tio's scary ass. I'm not thinking about Tio. If he want to entertain me, then everybody will know I will take that fight. Tio is saying a whole bunch of racist shit. Tio is just a person I cannot entertain because I will probably he will probably be taking me to court if I get around him. I'm gonna have to put my hands on. But I can't entertain Tio at all. I can't go back and forth with him on the net because if he say some racist shit like that to me, I don't know how I would take it. And it's not gonna be the good way. So, if he only thing I would entertain is him sending me a contract, anything else after that, I'm I'm not I'm not entertaining Tio no more. He's 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 Mister Irrelevant. That's what I call him. He's he's Mister Irrelevant, he's trying to make him make his name back relevant. How he used to be when he was doing the Fortnite dances and stuff like that. He's just trying to get himself back in that limelight. And you know, um, you know, doing the race, saying racist stuff and stuff like that. You know, like. It's like he he don't even care, you know what I mean? I, I can't get with Tio at all. I already made a video on Tio from Lopez telling Bud, you are a monkey to me. I'm gonna leave a link for that video in the comment section below. But it's crazy Tio from Lopez keeps talking about inspiring the kids. That's what he here to do. And then he goes on to call people monkeys and racially dissing them, telling all the black fighters or telling ESPN to keep all of the black fighters because he don't want to fight on the same network as the black fighters. He don't care about fighting on the same network as white fighters, Hispanic fighters. However, he just doesn't want to fight on the same network as black fighters. Basically, Tio is calling for segregation in the sport in order to duck all of the black fighters. Keyshawn Davis, the Devin Haney's, the Shakur, the Brian Norman, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However, he calls out Bud in order to deflect from fighting all the black fighters in or around his division, which is why he calls out Bud to fight in February 2025. However, when Turkey offered Tiafoe Lopez to fight Devin Haney on that same date for his biggest payday, Tio responded by telling Turkey, I'm not ready to fight Devin Haney. And that's how we know. He's capping about fighting Bud because if he's not ready to fight Devin, then how the hell he's going to be ready to fight Bud? That's a rhetorical question to all of the Rays fans. More importantly, like I said before, Tio, he's talking about inspiring the kids. That's what he's here to do. But all he does is call black people monkeys and want segregation in the sport. In other words, Tio from Lopez is promoting racism just like Ryan Garcia. Tiof Malopez's goal is to inspire the kids to be racist just like him. That's his goal. Last but not least, let's talk about the real issue here. The root of the issue. Shakur Stevenson and Keyshawn Davis are basically sending Tiof Malopez 
warning signals, warning him of what's to come. However, the problem here, the reason why Teofimo Lopez got so bold to be racist publicly is because you got people like Shakur and Keyshawn, they are so upset, rightfully so, for Teofimo Lopez calling Bud a monkey. However, they were giggling with Ryan Garcia on live after he said things that are way worse than what Teofimo Lopez said. Ryan is pound for pound the most racist boxer of all time. And after Ryan went off his racist rant, both Shakur and Keyshawn went on Ryan Garcia live, laughing and giggling as if they are the best friends. If you didn't know any better, you would have had mistaken Keyshawn Shakur and Ryan Garcia to be brothers, not just best friends, after watching the live. Keep in mind, that was after Ryan Garcia went on his racist rant saying some of the craziest things you could ever say. Ryan said he want to bring Floyd back to life so he can kill him again. That's how much he hates the N-word with the hearty yard. Ryan said worse, but I'm not going to repeat it here. The point is, Keyshawn and Shakur were the main ones acting cool with Ryan. Yo, I kid you not. Ryan was so comfortable on live with Keyshawn and Shakur to the point where he asked Shakur, let me take you shopping on some Diddy shit. Excuse my French. Ryan offered Shakur Stevenson to take him shopping. Would you guys believe that? What's crazier than that when Ryan told Shakur, yo, let's go shopping. Shakur didn't even clap back with, man, hell no. Nah, what type of Diddy stuff you want? Shakur didn't even say none of that. He was just like, bro, I'm not in L.A. Like, he didn't think that was questionable or any of that stuff. You in L.A., let's go shopping or something. I'm bored, bro. Nah, I'm not in L.A., bro. Uh, yeah. I don't really need to tell, hey, I don't tell my location. No. Hey, hey, hey you, I, I, you, you I be sending that you. to the store? I, honestly, bro, I think you're cool. <laughs> nah, nah, I think you're cool, too, bro, bro, bro. I, I, you be I, sending I, I'm not on no, like, you know, face. I think you're cool. I appreciate it, my boy. Appreciate you know, you feel me? Which, that's the biggest problem here. What do you think Teofimo Lopez thought or felt after watching that? He thought to himself, man, I'm over here hiding my racism. Meanwhile, Ryan is being celebrated for dissing all the Muslims and all of the black people. Well, I'm going to do the same. And that's what Teofimo Lopez just did. Ryan inspired Teo to come out of the closet the way he did. Because Teofimo Lopez felt it was safe outside. If I say racist stuff less than Ryan, I should be A-OK. -okay. And that's also why when Terrence Crawford was asked about Ryan Garcia racist rant, Bud Crawford basically responded by saying, well, he should have someone in his team or his camp to say, yo, shut the hell up or check him on that. And it's like, is that all you got to say? Well, that's why Teofimo Lopez felt bold enough to call Bud a monkey. Because when Ryan went on his racist rant, no one checked him for it. That's the sad reality. We have fighters bold enough to be racist publicly, but we don't have fighters bold enough to check the racist fighters on that. That's like being bold enough to lie, but not bold enough to tell the truth. But before I end the video, shout out to Carissa Shield. She was the only one who stood on business and called out Ryan Garcia for his racist rant. I'm talking about from the big name fighters. The quote herself was the only one. So mad respect goes out to Carissa Shield. With that being said, go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. All I know is one thing, Tiafuma Lopez better be careful what he's begging for. Subscribe below. And to be continue on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tia Fimo Lopez Jr., you done. Ah! You done went over there to the Cannon May show and you lying like a. Every opportunity to fight, we put it on the table for you, including an opportunity with Turkey Alashi and your company top rank just a couple of months ago. But I'm gonna let you know, and the people,
Devin Haney wants to fight you whenever, wherever, including right now. So, let's see what your fat mouth daddy got to say about that. 